All right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Um, hope you guys are doing well. It's July 21st, 2017. Uh, kind of a short video. We're going to talk about Iraq. A lot of you guys are talking about this site, investing.com. And so I just want to bring it up to the people that, okay, so it's showing that, uh, you know, the USD versus IQD uh, used to be, used to, I guess it was a, uh, you know, 1180, you know, maybe 11 something, uh, 80 something and uh, 81, 82. And now it's $11 and 79. Okay. So $11 and 79 IQDs to one USD. It looks like they dropped two zeros on this one, but guys and girls, you got to remember that this is just the site. This is, you know, one site, uh, that, that, um, that applies the IQD, um, you have to go to the cbi.iq that is the only site that matters because that's where the imf and the governor central bank is going to be changing the rate okay all these other sites they go up and down uh things malfunction things you know fluctuate whatever the case as you can see nice drop there um you know so it's uh yeah i mean it, it's still interesting right it's still interesting to see because today is the 21st Today is the day that you guys have been telling me that walking stick is, is uh, you know, and all these other people that have employees in Iraq are supposed to get their paychecks through the, uh, through, you know, cut a little bit in cash. And then the rest are through the, uh, the banking system, right? The E dinars. Uh, they have to go to the bank to get their cash, right? So today is supposed to be that day, right? So to see this happen on that day, it's kind of interesting, right? Because this is the day that they they get their paychecks, and we know that the zeros, uh, you know, according to Walking Stick and others, you know what I mean. And what you guys are telling me uh, that uh, the zeros have been, you know, basically lifted off the paperwork uh, of the of of employees, right? Um, even the even the uh, even the government of uh, the uh, Ministry of Finance were saying that they're going to have great news for the for the, their employees and a better lifestyle for their employees within the next few days. Remember that? So, you know, and then Walking Sick said, uh, I guess Walking Sick was talking about that he now has to pay his employees at one-to-one, -one, right? And that's what you guys are telling me. So, and it was going to happen on the 21st. They already sent the paperwork in and everything, and then they get paid on the 21st. They get, they get a little bit of, in cash, and the rest they have to go to the bank. So the fact that that is, the, the fact that this happened on this date, even though it's not on the CBI, we're going to go to CBI side in a second. The fact that this happened, right? They dropped two zeros on here. They didn't drop one. They didn't drop three zeros though, but they dropped two zeros on here. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's kind of coincidence that one, at least one of the sites, there's many of them, you know, there's many of these online uh, Forex or, or trading uh, real-time Forex sites and stuff. There's many of them, right? So I'm looking for something on the CBI, but be, but I want to see the lower notes. I want to see the the uh, the uh, Iraqis go to the banks today to pick up their paychecks, and uh, you know, and uh, of course they're gonna get some of them are gonna get cash. Some of them are gonna use their their credit cards or whatever. I want to see them. I want to see the lower notes this weekend. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, I'm looking for those lower notes. Because if we see those lower notes, it's time to celebrate because we know the rate's coming. Okay, so um, they, they, you know, the IMF has a meeting with Iraq early August. Alak already told us that he wants to, he's going to do this in, in July. Uh, and according to Walking Stick and others, it's already done on paper, okay, uh, with their employees and all that other stuff. You know, on paper, it's done. Now they got to just show it on the CBI, um, you know, uh, all the all the uh, employers and all the pe all the people that work have to go to the bank. This is the key part. They have to go. To, they're all have, they're all being forced to go to the banks, okay, to get paychecks, right? So for electronic dinars, and so the Mastercard's coming out. We saw a lot talk this week in front of a Mastercard credit card, <laughs> okay. So we know that the MasterCards are, are coming out and they're going to be active immediately. And uh, we're hoping it's this weekend. 
and so they get get to use it with their paychecks now and swipe and swipe and swipe in the ATMs. Uh, you guys said that Walking Stick was talking about the ATMs, but he can't say much about it and uh, not for another day or two. That's fine. Um, it's exciting times, man. It's exciting times. Uh, even though this really doesn't mean much, but but it does mean something to me because it happened on the 21st. And we know that they're getting their paychecks on the 21st. So it's kind of interesting to see this. And a lot of you guys were talking about this. The whole Dinar community was going is going crazy over this. Let's look on the Central Bank site. Um, they have auction, auction, results, auction, advertising, auction, results, advertising, auction, results. Wow. I'm not sure what that's all about. Advertising, uh, auction, results. Hmm. Uh, they got some other things here about the Governor Central Bank. And Alok's been talking a lot, been at these meetings, been doing, he's been so happy, he's excited. Maliki is not, and we'll get into that in a second. <laughs> he's blaming mu people of Musul for, for, for the fall of Musul, I mean, it's ridiculous. As you can see, nothing has changed here yet, um, so we, we, we still wait for the official change on, on the CBI.IQ site. Um, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping we see the lower notes. Um, before that IMF meeting, I want to see the I want to see that lower notes. I want to see lower notes hit the streets uh, before this IM, IMF meeting. Okay, uh, launch the economic reforms and uh, drop the lower notes. Launch the economic reforms and uh, yeah, you know, let's get on with it. Okay, so now let's move on to the some articles here. It says the United Nations has agreed with Baghdad on the first phase of reconstruction of Mosul. Okay, and remember the United Nations uh, wants the national settlement done as well. Uh, the National Alliance is, was supposed to hold a meeting uh, for that, and uh, I'm not sure if they, that um, meeting has happened yet or not. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe they're going to hold something this weekend, and then next week they'll, they'll, they'll have a date set for the National uh, Reconciliation National Settlement uh, Conference, okay? Um the budget needs to be passed. I don't think we're going to see lower notes until the budget is passed. Okay, the budget might be voted on this week, uh, this weekend. So we got to watch, maybe tomorrow. So we let's watch to see if they vote on the budget. They read it one more time and vote on it tomorrow. That will be a key sign. We could, if they do do that and pass it, the lower notes could come out. So <clears throat> we'll we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm me me personally. I want to see the the supplementary budget passed. Voted and passed, and I want to see those lower notes out in the streets. Um, that's what I'm looking for. Maliki, we want a Russian weapon for the Iraqi army. Okay. So he wants to, uh, uh, you know, whatever. It said also activate the economic and trade uh, prospects between the two countries. Okay, yeah, but you don't want the economic reforms for your whole country, right? You just want it between you and Russia. Uh, this is ridiculous. Anyways, uh, deputy uh, for Nineveh response to Maliki, your failure is to drop Musul and cause the killing of children. So Maliki went on air or went on some type of television and said that the that the children and the people of Musul, the citizens of Musul, Iraq, or Musul, Nineveh, Iraq, are to blame for Daesh taking over the Musul and the rest of the country. Wow. This is the guy who ordered the army to drop their weapons so ISIS could pick it up and to run. But yet he's saying that the children, 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 wow, children and the people of Musul are to blame for the fall of Musul, not me. Wow. So the deputy of Nineveh came back and said, you are the blame for Musul and, and the rest of Iraq being destroyed. Yeah, he needs to be, he needs to, somebody get rid of that man. Golly, please, somebody, please shut him up. The fact that he has access to, for, to money and to talk and to go into the government buildings, is that's got to irritate the, some of the good, the good guys. That are in our, that are in that government of Iraq that that know what he has done. Like, it's just yeah, goodness gracious, that's crazy, man. 
They lucky I don't live there. Oh my goodness gracious. They would have to, it would take a hundred people to get me off of that man. My goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. I would have to, um, man, I would have to fast on that. I would have to fast and pray not to touch that, not to put my hands on Maliki after what he has done in the, and the, and the overwhelming evidence of what he has done and what he didn't do as a prime minister as well. Not passing laws, not giving the herbal agreement, uh, just letting the country rot, throwing the governor, uh, the independent governor of the central bank into prison. He's not even, you can't do that to the governor of central bank. He doesn't work for you. He's his own entity. And the fact that the IMF and the World Bank allowed it, and Obama allowed it, it was even more ridiculous. You're, 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 wait, wait a minute. You're, the central bank governor of Iraq is being thrown in jail by the prime minister? What is, what's going on here? I would have came in there and said, uh-uh, he don't work for you. He, he independent. But nope, they allowed it to happen. They allowed their Shabibi to be thrown in jail. The IMF, the World Bank, United Nations, and, and Barack Obama and his delegation. Why? Because he was going to change the rate. And at that time, I'm guessing Obama and all the other guys weren't in favor of a rate change, apparently, <laughs> because they allowed it to happen. So, and they knew Dr. Sweepy didn't do anything wrong. He was just going to be changing. All he was going to do was change the rate and make Iraq, and, and make Iraq a proud country again. And Maliki said, no, I don't want to be a proud country. I want to be a corrupt country. <laughs> um, chairman of the Joint uh, Chiefs of Staff, we have uh, started a new battle in Mosul. Now, this, now this, is, this is incorrect, um, you know, but it says, uh, and these are, are, and these are our enemies. Okay, he's not, he's not talking about a new battle in Mosul. He's talking about, he's talking about the Battle of Tel Afar that's about to happen, and it just, We've been talking about Telefar since March, that they were going to start the Battle of Telefar since March. They have already started the Battle of Telefar. They've already, com I'm pretty sure they've completed the Battle of Telefar. Um, because remember, before we even went into the right coast of Mosul, we were already kicking butt in Telefar. I mean, just go through Iraqi Day's timeline of, of a couple months ago, we were getting all these neighborhoods and areas in Telefar. And then it just stopped. And then everything went right into the oak of uh, Musul. The mosque, the Al Nuri mosque gets blown up and everything. And Tel Far stopped. Operation stopped. Everything was all about the right coast connector and completing uh, the right coast connector. While that was happening, Tel Far was getting, was, was getting done. But now they're telling you that they're about to go in and, and storm Tel Ahar and, and, uh, and get Tel Ahar and then get Hawaji, Kwaim. All this while, this all those stuff were being done and completing while they were everybody was focused on the right coast connector. But, but a lot of people can't see that, though. A lot of people can't see operations over in those areas just magically stopped. And all eyeballs were on the right coast connector. Not thinking, hmm, they, they're making my eyes and they're making my attention go to the right coast connector because they're getting all the other places done right now. So when the right coast connector is done and our eyes turn back to Telefar and Kwaim and Rawa, they're going to tell us that they're now beginning, but it's already done while our eyes were revert, reverted somewhere else. That is the manipulation of the military. That's how military people, that's what we do okay, in the military. When we tell you things, when we're telling you things, these things are already done. Many of them, six months ago, three months ago. I even, I was even telling um, um, uh, Iraqi Day about it. That's what we used to do. I, you know, when I was in the military, that's how we operated. You know, you bring things out, but it's three months old, six months old. We don't tell you the updated things. Never should you tell people updated. This is one of the reasons why a body did a pre-recording tape. <laughs> Of liberation, Mosul, because he knew how dangerous it was to do a to do a, you know to 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 stand there 
uh, you know, and do a live one there. Somebody could have blew his brains out, right? So he goes in there, he, he makes it very quick, and he gets out of harm's way, right? And then he doesn't bring, he doesn't put it out with the elites and the Zionist media. They don't put that out until the perfect timing on Monday. And he's nowhere to be found in that area, right? He's gone. This is what I'm talking about, guys and girls. When we talk about coding, and we talk about decoding, and we talk about the, uh, um, you know, how everything is coded, and it has to be coded properly, and and you can see a body is going through that. A body is is doing everything what the elites want, you know, on the coding side, right? Making sure things are coded correctly. Things come out at 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 a, at the perfect time. Things are coming out at the times that are coded correctly. They're not coming out when you and I want them to come out. Even though I knew that he already did something on that date that he recorded it, but he kept it because it wasn't coded correctly until it was. And then he brought it out on Monday. Right? And so between that time, there was all this confusion because the, the news is saying it's done on this. A body's Twitter is saying it's done. It's like, where is the record? Where Where is he? Where's his speech? It wasn't coded correctly. That's why. And I kept telling you guys that this thing has to be coded correctly. And it was not coded correctly. So they had to go in there, recode it correctly. And, and then they brought it out on Monday at the right time for the code. But, you know, you guys can keep saying, no, that's not, you know, I don't believe in that. But okay. <laughs> and you're going to continue to see it over and over again. Things have to be coded correctly. Point blank. Okay. Um, same thing with this. This is why USA is not uh, saying that they don't. I don't have any evidence of, of, of Baghdadi. Even though ISIS said it was done. Russia. Iran. Iran America. Right, we don't have any evidence of this. You know, of, of Baghdadi being killed. We haven't heard from Baghdadi. We haven't seen Baghdadi. We don't have no evidence of Baghdadi being killed. Because it's, it's for them, it's, for America, it's not time for him to be to be killed. That's why. That's why. You know, I, I you know on this channel, I said I said uh, Baghdadi is the uh, is the RV, and uh, the uh, ordinary Moss is the uh, liberation of Musul. When we got the ordinary Moss. When they blew it up, within days we had Musa, right? We knew Musa was coming to an end. Baghdadi's been taken by Russia, you know, or claimed by Russia to be dead. Claimed by Iran to be dead. Claimed by other people to be dead and Dosh themselves. Now you got all the. Now you got some people saying, "Oh, we haven't." Well, America's like we haven't seen it. Yeah, we haven't seen it yet. He's the RV. We haven't seen. We haven't seen it. We have no evidence. We haven't seen any evidence. Once America sees evidence of Baghdadi dead or whatever, and Russia turns him over, hopefully it's next week. Hopefully, you know what I mean. Hopefully it's next week. They're getting closer. Right? You, you can tell that they're playing a game here. You can tell because before they didn't want to talk about it. Then. Uh, then we had um, Mad Dog come out and talk about it and say, I don't know for, if he's dead or not. I don't want to speculate. Now you have other senior officials coming out and saying, oh, we just don't have any evidence. Is it we're getting closer and closer. So the next thing we're going to see is we might have evidence of Baghdad. <laughs> you know, it's going to we're going to get closer and closer. And then once they're ready, once we probably see an RV, if the RV is coming, we will America will confirm Baghdadi's gone, in my opinion. Okay, and uh, yeah, kind of interesting, right? Kind of interesting. We need somebody. Basically, I'm trying to say that somebody got to die. <laughs> so somebody's got to either be confirmed dead, or somebody or some world leaders got to die for the, for this RV. Because it was the same way. I think it was the same way that happened with Kuwait. And all other major stuff. Somebody got to be dead. So they got to they got to announce somebody dead to convert to to uh, evert everybody's attention away from the change in rate. 
So it could be America coming out and saying Baghdadi's dead. It could be America coming out and saying somebody else is dead. You guys already know what we, you know, the code. Well, some of you guys do. Okay. Somebody, somebody on that day when that happens, I, I would not be surprised if so, if, if all of the attention is on somebody either confirmed dead like Baghdadi or some world leader is, is gone on that date that they that they changed the rate because they have to they have to divert it or some big mega star right and we've talked about this in the past but now it looks like the evidence is like a lot is ready to go now so we're gonna watch this closely um and we're gonna see what happens oh there it goes 1182 so it's back to normal again oh man right in front of our eyes so for everybody that was, you know, me, you know, me, imagine, imagine if it was uh, 11, 1182, right? And then it went to 11 down here, went back down here, 11, 90, and then you went to the, uh, to the exchange with, uh, with, with uh, this printed out <laughs> or on your phone and you say, I want to exchange my record. I want to change 20, my 25,000 note, <laughs> or I want to change 1 million record dinar for uh, this rate right here of 11, uh, 75. <laughs> The person who probably be like, what? Uh, let me get my manager. <laughs> and, like, and then they're going to check the screen like, nah, man, it's 1184 it's 11 still. Or, or 11 it's 1182, 1184. Either way, I got it here at uh, on uh, investing, uh, investing.com at uh, 1175. You know what I mean? Uh, 1175, bro. We dropped we drop two zeros. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, uh <laughs> Uh, that would be that would be a funny that would be funny, wouldn't it? Uh, they're probably like that's a mistake. Okay. Anyways, uh, yeah. So it's back to 1182 right on this video. So there you go. All right. So we're waiting on the CBI. Everything is gonna be on the CBI. This is the official CBI site, CBI.IQ. This is where it's gonna happen when it changes and it stays permanently. Cause sometimes it's change it change, and it, and it, and it change for like two minutes and then they change it right back. I know some of you guys have seen that. But it's, when it thing changes permanently, then it's all good. And once we then we'll we'll hear uh, an announcement from a lock that he has give, given the citizens purchasing power, and maybe a body will make a statement as well. Shabibi might make a statement as well, saying, "Hoorah, way to go, my my beloved Iraq." As I sit here in Switzerland with the hot babes or something, <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure Dr. BB is chilling. You know what I mean? So, anyways, talk to you guys later. Um, interesting interesting weekend coming up. We're going to be watching very closely. Uh, and then next week, it's going to be just, it should be mayhem. It should be a great week. Uh, lots of news as Iraq gears up for that huge INF meeting with the loans and grants. Uh, ec launching the economic reforms, hopefully, uh, you know, just changing the value. Ho I mean, all these things should be between now and that IMF meeting or right on that IMF meeting and World Bank meeting with, uh, with the Iraq. The IMF might make the announcement at that meeting as they give them the grants and the loans. They could come out and say Iraq has returned to the international stage uh, art and is now Article 8 compliant. And has now, and Chapter Seven is now lifted. That, well, that could be a statement we get at the meeting as well. Okay, so all these things are possible. Also, there is a possibility that all these things don't happen and we continue on. <laughs> okay, and I, like I said, I'm going to continue to one 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 eight, and and hopefully it's done. You know, uh, you know, July blues bring August harvest. That's what we're hoping for. Peace out, everybody. Eyes open. Bye.